Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to prove trigonometric identities. Pero bago tayo pumunta guys sa proving, review muna natin yung different fundamental identities na gagamitin natin guys sa pagpuprove ng trigonometric identity. Okay? So first, we have the reciprocal identities. So dito guys, Si cosecant theta is equal yan kay 1 over sine theta. So, pwede rin natin i to guys. So, pwede rin natin gamitin na si sine theta is also equals kay 1 over cosecant theta. Okay, so kumbaga pinag-swap natin yung pwesto ng ating trigonometric function. Okay, so next we have... Secant theta is equals kay 1 over cosine theta. So, pwede rin natin siyang i-apply kay cosine theta, which is equals kay 1 over secant theta. Okay? Then last, we have the cotangent theta, which is equivalent to 1 over tangent theta. So, pwede rin natin gamitin kay tangent theta, which is equals kay 1 over cotangent theta. Nakuha guys? So, let's proceed to quotient identity. So, dito may dalawa lang tayong identities. Si tangent theta is equals kay sine theta over cosine theta and yung ating cotangent theta is equals kay cosine theta over sine theta. So, last we have the Pythagorean identities. So, first, we have the sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equals to 1. So, kung ililipat natin si cosine squared theta, so, pwede rin natin siyang i-apply kay sine squared theta, which is equals kay 1 minus cosine squared theta. Tama? So, kung yung sine squared theta naman yung ililipat natin sa right side, so, dito, si cosine squared theta is equals kay 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay? So, next, we have tangent squared theta plus 1 is equals to secant squared theta. So, pwede rin natin siyang i-apply kay tangent squared theta which is equals kay secant squared theta minus 1. And si 1 pwede siyang equivalent kay secant squared theta minus tangent squared theta. Okay, last we have 1 plus cotangent squared theta which is equal to, to cosecant squared theta. So, pwede rin natin siyang i-apply kay 1 which is equal kay cosecant squared theta minus, so lipat natin yung cotangent, we have negative cotangent squared theta. Okay? Then, pwede rin siyang i-apply kay cotangent squared theta which is equals kay cosecant squared theta minus 1. So, ito na ngayon guys yung ating mga fundamental identity. So, hindi naman natin ito kailangan i-memorize. Ang kailangan lang guys is um, kahit pa paano familiar tayo dun sa ating mga identity and matutunan natin kung kailan ba sila gagamitin. Okay? So, let's have our first example. Prove that sine theta times secant theta is equals to tangent theta. So, dito guys, uh, kailangan mapakita natin na yung nasa left side ng ating equation is same lang doon sa right side. Okay? So, ang first tip na mabibigay ko sa inyo is kung ano yung mas complex na part, yun yung ating isi-simplify. So, in our case, yung nasa left side na term, yung ating, yung mas complex. So, meaning, yan yung ating isi-simplify. Okay? So, ngayon, pagka magsisimplify naman tayo, ang next tip ko guys is lahat ng trigonometric function is i-convert natin in terms of sine and cosine. Nakuha? So, kung natandaan nyo, si secant theta, gamit yung ating reciprocal theta, which is secant theta is equals to 1 over cosine theta.
Tama? So, kung i-convert natin si secant in terms of sine and cosine, so, pwede natin itong gamitin. Okay, so, try natin. We have sine theta times secant theta, which is equals to 1 over cosine theta. Tama? So, getting the product, we have sine theta over cosine theta. So, this time guys, kung makapansin nyo, uh, medyo familiar yung ating quotient. Okay? Dun sa quotient identities natin, makikita natin dun na si tangent theta is equals kay sine theta over cosine theta. Okay? So, kung gagamitin natin to guys, so, ibig sabihin, yung sine theta over cosine theta natin is equals kay tangent theta which is equals dun sa ating right side na tangent theta. Okay? So, therefore, sine theta times secant theta is equals kay tangent theta. Naintindihan ba guys? So, let's have another example. Number 2. Prove that 1 over sine theta times cotangent theta is equals to 1 over cosine theta. Okay, so applying the same procedure, yung nasa left side equation natin is mas complex kesa dun sa right side. Tama? So, ibig sabihin, si 1 over sine theta times cotangent theta yung ating isi-simplify. Okay, so next step natin is i -re -re write natin lahat ng function to in terms of sine and cosine. So dito guys, si cotangent yung ating kailangang uh, baguhin. So kung natandaan nyo, si cotangent theta is equals kay cosine theta over sine theta doon sa ating uh, quotient identities. Tama? So kung isa-substitute natin yan dito, we have 1 over sine theta times cotangent theta which is equals to cosine theta over sine theta. Okay? So, kung i-multiply natin guys yung ating nasa denominator, so makakancel dito yung ating sine theta. Okay? So, therefore, ang quotient nito is we have 1 over cosine theta which is now equal doon sa ating nasa right side na 1 over cosine theta. Tama? So, therefore, 1 over sine theta times cotangent theta is equals to 1 over cosine theta. Okay? So, let's have our third example. So, prove that secant squared theta minus cosine squared theta is equals to tangent squared theta minus cotangent squared theta. So, as you can see guys, uh, halos magkamukha lang yung nasa left side natin and doon sa right side. Okay, so dito, uh, pwede kayo mamili kung ano yung isisimplify nyo. Okay, so try na lang natin isimplify yung nasa left side ng ating equation which is secant squared theta minus cosecant squared theta. So, ang goal natin is kailangan maging kamukha niya si tangent squared theta minus cotangent squared theta. Okay? So, since may mga squared yung ating trigonometric function, so, possible, yung mga gagamitin nating identity dito, identity dito is yung mga nasa Pythagorean identities. Tama? So, unahin na natin yung cosecant squared theta. So, dun sa ating Pythagorean identities, si cotangent squared theta plus 1 is equals kay cosecant squared theta. Tama? So, kung isa-substitute natin yan dito sa ating um, identity, we have secant squared theta minus, so we have cot yung cosecant squared theta natin is same lang kay cotangent squared theta plus 1. Tama? So, next, since wala naman tayong secant squared theta dito sa ating right side, 
So, i-rewrite natin si secant squared theta in terms of uh, tangent. Okay, so gamit ulit yung ating Pythagorean identities. So, alam naman natin na si tangent squared theta plus 1 is equals kay secant squared theta. Okay, so kung babaguhin natin itong part na to, so that is equals to tangent squared theta plus 1. Next, distribute na natin yung negative. We have negative cotangent squared theta, then negative times positive 1, that is minus 1. So pag sinimplify to guys, combining like terms, makakancel yung ating 1. Tama? So ang matitira ngayon, We have tangent squared theta minus cotangent squared theta which is now equals dun sa ating right side na tangent squared theta minus cotangent squared theta. Okay, so therefore, si secant squared theta minus cosecant squared theta is equals kay tangent squared theta minus cotangent squared theta. Okay? Okay? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano po mag-prove ng trigonometric identities. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!